Hey everyone, Aaron here with Canyon Adventure Vans, and we here are not afraid to talk about the awkward stuff, like using a toilet. Most of the time you can use a toilet that's conveniently connected to city plumbing and makes disposing of your waste quite an easy process. Sometimes we're out in nature, we're camping, or disaster strikes, and we need a backup plan. That's where the AMT toilet comes in, and I'm here to tell you all about it. All right, so right now we've got the toilet in what I like to call storage mode. This is where we got the top lid on, the bottom lid on, it's unplugged. It's basically ready to be stored in your emergency situation kit, in a closet, in your basement, and it's also ready to be stored if you're going on a camping trip and you don't have it in a place that's easily accessible, you're packing it into your van, etc. It's nice and compact here. Just to illustrate here what we're looking at, about 16 inches wide, 18 and a half inches deep, yeah, we'll call it 19 and just under a foot here. So really a pretty small unit to pack away and keep out of the way when you don't need it. So what I like to do first is flip it over so I can easily access the legs. I'm just gonna take this bottom cap off. And what you'll see here are two legs that you're gonna wanna pull out and make sure that these are locked in so that it's nice and sturdy for use. It's important that you have these legs out or have it stored in a way to where there's room here for your waste contents to make their way out. So now we're gonna flip it back over. We're gonna take the top lid off. And next, I'm gonna show you how to load the film so you can really use the toilet. So included in your AMT toilet kit is going to be the film right here that ultimately is going to be the bags that hold your waste. You're gonna have a power supply here you're also gonna have some packs of coagulant. We'll get into these two in just a second, but first we'll start off here. So what we're gonna do to load the film is first we're gonna take off your toilet seat and this protective layer here. To set those aside, you will notice some arrows here. So the arrows here are gonna to wanna to point to the front of the toilet. Front of the toilet's gonna to have your control panel here. So first step, we're gonna take the film roll here. It also has arrows on the front of it. It's gonna be facing the front. We're gonna place that in there. This tool here is gonna help you push your film in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cap off right here. And you'll see a little sticker here that's holding this film together. And we're gonna to peel that off so that we can pull the film up. So you can use that to grab this first layer here. Be careful to just grab this first layer and not anything else. You're just gonna lightly pull this around nice and evenly. And what we wanna do is get just enough bag to get into these wheels here. So ultimately that's what's gonna pull this film down and help to make it a sealed bag. So we'll pull up about a foot worth and we'll come in here and we'll just tuck this down in here nice and evenly. And now we're gonna take this cap back with our arrows facing the front and put this right here. Now with this tool, there's two settings. You're gonna want it in the wide setting right here and you're gonna shoot right down into this gap. And what that's doing is pushing this film in between those roller wheels that I showed you and it's gonna help to feed that down. And you'll just go ahead and do that and then you'll pull this back up and it'll come out like that. Now we'll go ahead and power this up and I'll show you the next step. All right, so now we've plugged in our power cord and we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the toilet. Ready for use. Now it's gonna say ready to use, but it actually is not until we seal this first one. And what we're gonna do, this is the same way you flush the toilet when you're using it. We're gonna hold the start button down for three seconds. And you're gonna see it pulls the film down and now it's gonna be sealing what is our first layer of the film, which will be the bottom of our first bag that we use. And it's gonna go ahead and count down for 90 seconds. You're gonna to wanna to leave it alone for 90 seconds. You'll see the countdown right here. You're gonna let it do its thing to seal the film up. So now it's gonna go ahead and feed this out. And as you can see, the bottom of this here is sealed up nicely. That's gonna be the bottom of our next bag. And you can see here, 
that this open end has now been sealed and we're actually ready for use now. So now we can take this plastic bag just like we would any other bag we use. Go ahead and throw it into your tote bag, trash bag, and dispose of it appropriately. All right. So to illustrate this today appropriately, we are gonna show you putting some solids and some water into the toilet. It's very, very important that you test this out uh, ahead of time to make sure that you're getting a proper seal. There are times where the first seal will not seal properly. You won't have to do this after you do get a proper seal, but it is very, very imperative that you do test this out ahead of time. So we're gonna go ahead and take our liquids first, pour that down into there. And you can go ahead and look down there Looks like we've got a nice tight seal. We'll throw some solids in there as well. And now again, we're gonna hold our start button down for three seconds. And that 90 second timer is gonna start. And you'll see it pulling the bag down there. And it's now gonna seal the top of that bag, which will then be the bottom of your next bag that you're gonna use. So as you can see, we do have a good watertight seal here. It's very important that you let it do its process for 90 seconds. What it's doing is sealing that, it's heating the bag up and sealing that top layer. And again, that top layer is gonna be the bottom layer of your next usage. So you're really gonna wanna leave that alone and let it do, it, let it do its thing, let that bag drop down, and then we'll be ready for the next use. All right, so now it's finishing the sealing process and your bag's gonna drop down there. And there we go, nice tight seal here and everything nice and watertight in there without any leakage and that's that now you can go ahead and dispose of this appropriately and you're all done one last thing to go over here is going to be your coagulant we recommend using this with every use this is going to help deodorize help decompose and make it to where you can leave your bag if you need to until you're ready to dispose of it so now we're going to go ahead and put the toilet seat back on so that you can actually use it First, you're gonna put on your baffle plate here. Again, you have your arrows, they're gonna be facing your control panel there, and your toilet seat is gonna go on here. The best way to tell if your toilet seat is on the right way is by looking at the top. If you see this ring here with your baffle plate showing, you know you've got it on backwards. You've got a perfect ring here without any of that baffle showing. You're in good condition and ready to use it. Sold separately, we have our Talent Cell Lithium Ion Battery Pack. This is great for off-grid use, for camping, and in emergency situations when you've lost power. This is gonna allow you to get over 100 flushes, supply you with the charger, as well as the cable that allows you to plug it in, and some of our heavy-duty 3M locking Velcro. What you can do is go ahead, peel off one side of the Velcro, you can go ahead and stick one side there. You're gonna see your other side's already stuck on to the other side of the Velcro. Peel off this layer here. So we've got our power adapter here. I do recommend plugging this in ahead of time. That way you can see where you wanna put your battery pack. I think that'll be good right there. Got a good squish there. That's gonna stay there. And we'll go ahead and turn this on. And there it goes, it's powered up. And just as she said, it's ready for use. So now we're gonna go ahead and break it down and put it back into store mode. I'll turn off my battery pack here, unplug these plugs here. You can keep it plugged in if you'd like. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. We'll start with our top lid. Go ahead and put this on up here. Fasten this here. Fasten that other one. And now we'll go ahead and flip it upside down so we can get to those legs. Make sure this flap goes down like that, doesn't get in the way or get harmed. Unlock these legs here. Fold these in. And we'll put our bottom lid on. And it is ready to be stored until we're ready to use it again. So one final pro tip, it is a great idea to have a utility bag like this. We sell them here at Canyon Adventure Vans, but really any uh, bag that you can use to put all of your cables in so that if emergency does strike or it's time to use your toilet, you're ready to go and all of your contents are in one place. And go ahead and just pour all these coagulants in here for future use. There you have it.
have it. Once again, Aaron here at Canyon Adventure Vans. Thank you so much for watching our overview video on the AMT toilet. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at info at canyonadventurevans.com or find us on social media at Canyon Adventure Vans. Thanks for watching.